Hello everyone, and um, voice come again. Uh, and thank you so much to all the people that took the time out to email us and to um, share with us their heartfelt experiences of last weekend, how the medicine and the energy touched them in so many, many different ways. It's beautiful to get some feedback like that because the intention we put out initially was you know, that people with heart energy would join us with this medicine and would um, would work with us. And so I guess the fairies and the she and the Duridana, the ancient medicines of Ireland have been brought you together. The other thing I want to say that um, <clears throat> we, we worked with Munster last week. And this week we work with Connacht. Connacht is in the West. So it really humbles me to see so many people come to join our community. Uh, because without community, we can't do anything. Um, if I was trying to do this on my own, 
um, it would not happen. But having so many beautiful people sit in circle, sit in community, um, it's the most powerful thing that can be done. The other thing I will say to you is that um, by sitting in community and by opening our hearts and by working at that level of energy, we rise the vibration. And you'll keep hearing me saying this all the time. It's about rising the vibration. It's about rising the vibration, our own vibration through meditation, taking time out, walks in nature. Whatever way you connect, it's important that this is the time that we do this now, that we go into our hearts, that we that we connect from that place. We connect to our true selves. We connect to the true us, the true beings. I think the time out has given everyone time to reflect. And, and you know, the courage to go to that place in our hearts where we can actually be who we need to be, to be ourselves, and not to be afraid to come from our truth. Because by doing what we're doing, uh, shamanically now and in community to open the chakras or the sacred points of iron we're actually bringing up the truth the energy that has been suppressed the energy that has been hidden so that the energy and the truth within us uh, will come together to just remember your vibration anytime you feel down you feel anger you feel things just pull yourself aside breathe we'll be going through a breathing exercise in a minute and what we will do is uh it's is helping to bring up your, your your vibration so when i'm a connex man myself i'm a connamara man west coast i spent most of my life in galway around galway in different parts of us but basically i'm a connamara man as they say a connie and so i grew up with a lot of tradition with the fairies and with the magic and the stories and um, all that kind of stuff. And my grandfather was a Shanachie, and uh, he, when I had hair, he had it leave it standing on your head before he put you to bed at night with the stories. So when when I was coming to the West to do this work, I I had conflict in what mountain I would use to pull in the mountain spirits. I'd nef and I energy in the 12 pins, but the mountain that came out was Crow Patrick. And I know for a fact that it's one of the mountains that's capped. Uh, if you've been on top of it, you will, you will, you will know that, but um, it's crying out for help. Um, I've been up that mountain a few times, and one of the times I went up with another guy, Daniel was his name, a long time ago, we had heard about the ancient healing pines on Crow Patrick. And when we we connected, we went up with diamond rods and um, a divine and rods, and uh, we found one of the energy points and sat on it, and it was like electricity going through your body. So the ancient Celts, the ancient the ancient Druids, actually knew that um, where to go, what to do if there's different ailments within their body. So long before Catholicism. That was still a sacred mountain, and we will be connecting with it in that in that essence. And then, of course, um, to work with the power place or the sacred site that we want to work with, uh, Nakma was the one that came to me very, very strong for a couple of reasons. And one of the main reasons is this: um, it's where the Connemara fairies go on holidays. They go to Nakma. Finvara, the king of the Connacht fairies takes time out there as well. But one time there was a lady, great, great healer, Mary, I won't mention her second name. She knows who I'm talking about if she's on. Asked me to come to do some land and house healing for her, um, let's say near the butt of um, Nakma. And so we did, um, went and did it. We had to go back a few times. And the reason we had to go back, it wasn't the house that needed the healing, it was Nakma. So we had to do between us um, a lot of work to help that energy of that mass of the fairies and the Tudidana and the ancient beings of that place have called us to do the work there as well. So we, we will be working through that tonight. And um, 
Karakil is the place I have used to distribute, uh, chosen or it was chosen for me to distribute the power uh, to um, to um, distribute the, the medicine through the thing. So that's basically what we'll be doing. And I just wanted to fill you in on them little stories and um, to say thank you so much and so humble that you've come to join us tonight. So what's happening here is the story so far, which I'm after telling you. Uh, in a minute or two, we'll open the west direction. Uh, we opened the south last week, so we opened the west this week. And the west is the land of Connacht. And we, we'll walk through that medicine to, to operate in Connacht. And next week we'll be in Ulster. So we'll be connecting with uh, the spirit of Crow Patrick. Mayo. Energy of nightmare, as I said. And then we, 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 when we have all that put in place and all the spirits, we've activated the energies as a community. Um, we, we, we work with the uncapping of the sites. And I just want to say to you that as I call in the archetypes and the different things to, to do the work with the different site, please feel free to pull your own energies in as well. Uh, and, and the more we bring together, the more it will, uh, the more it will work for us all. So this is the energy of Crow Patrick that we've started with. And um, so for now, I just want you to please just close your eyes and just relax. Just be conscious of where you're sitting or where you're lying. The first thing we'll focus on is the breath. And when we breathe in, just bring it in and just hold it for maybe a count of three. You breathe it out nice and slow. And for a count of three, if that's comfortable for you. And you breathe it in again. And you breathe it out. Now as you breathe it in this time, just bring the sound uh, into your inner. And as you breathe it out, uh, uh, in, uh, out. It helps to pull in the cheek. Measure your breeze, you'll feel the chi, the chi building nice and gently. And just sit in that energy now as you feel it, totally relaxed. I want you to visualize yourself in your bubble, above you, below you. Part below you, stuck into the ground, maybe two or three feet circumference around you, at the bottom, in front of you, behind you, to the left and to the right. And just as you breathe a little more now with the belly in and the uh, out, visualize it filling your bubble, your chi.
And as you see the top of your bubble open now, you will be conscious, become aware of the golden sun just above your bubble. And if you look up beyond that, you'll see it's connected to your higher self and on up to the crater. To the energy is flowing through the crater and beautiful energy from above, from the universe, down through the higher self into your golden sun. Feel the ray as it comes down and connects with your crown chakra inside your bubble. The energy. Creeps down to your third eye. Into your throat. Let it work its way down like that. Into your heart. Down into your third chakra. Breathe it in and into the sacrum. Conscious of that beautiful golden light that got down between your legs, down into the ground, connecting with your heart chakra in the ground, two and a half, three feet into the ground, dark blue. Just let it connect. Yeah. And down deeper into the earth till it connects with the core right in the middle. I always see it as a big green crystal. Feel it connect. And let the dark blue light from that crystal or that core come up along that golden light. May even mix with whatever. Up to your root chakra. Sorry, your earth chakra in the ground. And it spreads out along and it connects everything that there is in the earth to the little sinews from that earth, earth chakra that connects to the rocks and the crystals, to the water, to the trees, all that is in the earth. And as it continues up into your root now, feel it coming into your root chakra. Just breathe. As it crawls up into your sac, into your sac. Into your third. your heart. To the throat. Through the third eye, to the crown, feel it at the top of your head, 
that connects to this thing. So we're connected above, that's below, that's below, that's above. And now as we stand in that energy, just for a minute, you open your eyes and look at Cropatrick. Imagine yourself standing somewhere in that, or around the hill the whole, with our hands held, or on the top maybe with our hands held together, our feet in the snow, feel the wind in our face, and our back on our side. We hold hands in community. And we're earth to the earth, earth to the energy. Now I just want you to be conscious of your heart, your beautiful heart energy. Energy from above, bring it in there. Energy from the earth, just let it mix in your heart. And as it mixes, we just imagine a beautiful green rose, the color of green, out through your heart to the front and to the back. And through that beautiful energy we send love and healing, all that is from above and all that we have from below, just let it flow to the mountain. This mountain's name, long before it was called Cropatrick, was called Eagle Peak. It was where the people went for celebration and abundance. It gave fertility, gave growth. So now we call it all them people that stood on the top of that mountain for peace, for love, for fertility, for growth, for abundance. We call on the spirit of St. Patrick, the keeper and the guardian of that mountain. We call on all the ancestors that walked that mountain, especially in the old days, there for healing, for blessing. And who walked in these times with a good heart. We call on the sacred spirit of the mountain itself that is connected to all, and to all the spiritual mountains of Ireland that is connected to it. And all the sacred mountains of Connacht. We call upon you now to be with us, to stand guard, to protect us, and to guide us. We ask that you send your spirits on the borders of Connacht, to the north of Leitrim, to the edges of Roscommon down south, Galway and across to the sea. That you stand guard, you protect us, and you bring your sacred energy and your beauty, your real essence to us this night. Thank you for that. Call on the spirit of Connacht now, the Connacht energy, the province of Connacht, the clans of Connacht, the O'Connors, the tribes of Galway. The two did Dana, who they say came in their flying ships and landed in the West Coast. The Kellys, the Borks, the Druids, the Shamans, the Healers, the Elementals, Grania Whale, the Fighting Spirit, Queen Maeve, all the Earthwalkers, all the Elementals. All the she. The men and women from the sea. Guardians of Connacht be with us. Show us the sites that need to be activated. 
stand tall, stand strong, connect to mountain of light, the mountain of beauty. Now if you just connect with the energy of that man, that Drudrick fairy energy, that mystical energy, and just bring your hearts to be standing in this little place where all the mosses and the trees and the, the mist and beauty. You may see the fairies standing all along these little places. We call on the spirit now, not man. And again, as we open our hearts and let our love deep into the energy of this mountain, of this sacred site, as we connect with the she beneath at this sacred place. Know that we come in peace. We come with love. It's time for you to help us activate the energies that need to be activated within our prophet. Connect. To bring the love and the beauty. To bring the power and the energy back to the people. So that they can carry it in their hearts. The beauty way that we walk softly on you, that we work with you. And know that we're all related. We love you as you love. We call on Fin, fin Vara, the connect king of fairies. The two Didana, the people that said first time they set foot in Ireland, they walked the honored us by coming to the West. Call on that ancient, ancient energy. We ask for the magic, the beauty. And the pain of the people that lived and walked this land of rock and barrenness. They came here, no future, but survived. We ask that their pains be taken tonight, that there be softness brought back into the West, beauty, that the heather will blow free and easy on the mountain. Now just let's take our consciousness as we hold hands around the mountain. See ourselves walk into the mountain, to the middle, into the chamber. And we say to the she, we come in peace, we come with love. We ask for your help now. Open the sites that need to be opened. We call on the gatekeepers of Galway, Mayo, Roscommon, Sligo and Leitrim to allow our energies and the energies of these wonderful, wonderful beings that have held this medicine for so long to help us to activate the energy that needs to be activated this night in this place. 
We call on the gatekeepers of all the sacred sites that need to be opened, uncapped, and their energy freed. So to lift the vibration of the place, of our people. Give us hope again. Give us joy. Give us the fertility of the abundance that comes from that sacred mountain. And that in the process of this, this is our cap too. We pray for this, if this is what needs to be done this night. As we come outside the mountain now, we hold hands with the she. We join in circle together. Just breathe and just feel their beauty and their love. The fairies are really, really And let the love through that rose in our heart go around the circle and around the energy. So we are all one. And now just take our energy to Karakil. It's an ancient burial site in Raskana. I don't have a picture of it, I thought I had. Your energy will bring you. So we ask that we are brought there to this place. We send love to us. To open it and to activate it. Now that that's done, put our conscious back again to that man. And as we hold hands now and release the she people, they will go to the points and the places and connect. They will do what needs to be done. And as they do that, we just hold this sacred space for them.
I was the she and the fairies returned. Just hold hands again with them in Nachman. To acknowledge and thank them. Now as we bring our energy to Karakil, connect with the she and the fairies up there and hold hands. And as we look up into the sky above this beautiful, beautiful warrior sight, we see a golden sun. As the energy of the sun beams the light down through the sight, through the place, down deep into the ground, to the core of the earth. A dark blue light comes up from the core, all the ways and connects with the sun above. And as we hold hands and our hearts are still open and the energy is pouring, together with the she, the fairy people, the elementals, the sacred spirits of the mountains are gathered around us now. The ancestors, the earth walkers, Crown your whale, Queen Maeve, all the beings that waited for this time. St. Patrick, collectively, Together we place that chalice above the site, golden chalice. The dark cloth covering it now. As we take the cloth off the chalice, we ask for the energy from the she that are underground and all the sacred sites in Connacht that have been uncapped to send the energy that has needed through Karaki up into the chalice. As that chatter rises into the sky, you hold that space. As it spills that beautiful energy, golden energy, all over the province, from the top of Leitrim to the south of Galway, east of Roscana, to the west of Kulanara, to the Iron Islands, farther up. And whatever is needed tonight, whatever is needed in love, in peace, in harmony, in joy to bring fertility, abundance back into this province, to bring the power back to the people, the power in the heart, the power of love. The medicine that's not needed, we ask that it's brought back into the chalice. And now it's poured back into the site. And as it is, it's just first to the areas it needs to go to. Now, as we stand in this beautiful circle with the she, with the fairies, with the elementals, with the ancestors, the mountain spirits, 
with all that is the province of conduct, the soul, the heart. We call on the ancestors that are in heaven and the glow of all the spirits that need to be brought home this night, from the land, from the sea. Every aspect of our province, the province of God. Please go on, get them, bring them home to their proper place in the universe, where they can be at peace. It's over. You don't have to. Suffer anymore. Go in peace and go with our love. Oh. And now as we release the she, and we thank them for being with us and being over ground, know that they are on the way back, that they will walk among us again. And this is an exercise in connecting with them. We can trust them, they can trust us, that we can work together. They carry the wisdom, they carry the beauty, they carry the ancient knowledge. They can teach us to be who we need to be. Teach us to be us. Thank you. Thank the fairies. They've been with myself and Melanie all evening. They were couldn't wait for this to happen. Our dance and a jig. And if you have smarties, chocolate, whiskey, brandy, whatever it is, just leave a little, leave them a little drop tonight. Got to do the monster the last night, but kind of class will give them a drop. Thank the mountain spirits, the guardians of the mountain. Thank the gatekeepers of all the county. The guardians and gatekeepers of all the sites. We thank you for being with us and for doing this. Help us to stand among you to do the sacred work. We are truly, truly honored. all the elementals, all the ancestors, to you all that have been here, to the clans, we wish you well and we wish you safe home. To everyone that stood in circle with us tonight, we are so honored, so blessed to have you among us. So we should bring your consciousness back into the room, back into where you are. Just let the cord from the earth come down through your body. And go back into the core. The energy from above the golden sun. See it as it comes up through your body, through your roof. Second, third to your heart, throat, third eye, the crown and back into the sun. And just take a breath now, be nice breath. As you do see the top of your bubble closed and the bottom closed. 
And as you sit in that energy, I just want to read you a blessing, a prayer that was given to me by a friend of mine many years ago. His name is Ian Claxton. Some of you may know Ian. But it's a Druid's blessing for your journey. May the blessing of the light be upon you. Light without, light within. May the blessed sunlight shine upon you and warm your heart till it glows like a great peat fire so that a stranger may come and warm himself at it and also a friend. And may the light shine out of the two eyes of you like a candle set in two windows of a house bidding the wanderer to come in out of the storm. And may the blessing of the rain be upon you, the soft, sweet rain. May it fill upon your spirit so that all the little flowers may spring up and shed their sweetness to the air. And may the blessings of the great rains be on you. May they beat upon your spirit, wash it fair and clean. Leave there many a shining pool where the blue of the heaven shines reflected, sometimes a star. May the blessings of the earth be on you, the great round earth. May you ever have a kindly greeting for them to pass as you're going along the road. May the earth be soft under you when you lay upon it, tired at the end of the day. And may it rest easy over you when at last you lay out under it. May it rest so lightly over you that your soul may be quickly through it and up and off and on its way to God. Oh, that's just my blessing to everyone in the group and the community that humble me so greatly to be part of our circle this night and next Wednesday night again. So I'm going to leave you with a song, hopefully Melanie is setting it up here now, from Louise uh, Barfoot. Uh, Louis Barfoot. Louis Barfoot, sorry. I want to thank you for sending the song and the lovely poem, which maybe we'll read out some other night. But you can get her on um, Spotify, and uh, we're just honoured that she that she took the time to to do this. So this the song came to her through a spirit who who uh, guided her to a well uh, to do it. So listen, thank you so much. We leave you with this. We're honoured. And we hope you can hear it okay, as they said. Okay. It's too awful loud. Sharing of 
tales to guide and protect us. Days of the dark night, days of the Thank you. 